I've been watching some Dutch oven cooking on YouTube and I went and got a few of my uh, Dutch oven cookbooks out. I have not yet to give those away. And so I found a recipe and I was going to cook it in my Dutch oven tonight. But since I already have the silver fire out, whoop, since I already have this out, I think I'm going to use this because I bought a pot that goes on top of this that I've never ever used. The Silver Fire Survivor Dragon Pot. And I've never used this, it's still in the wrapper. And it's a pot that fits right onto the Silver Fire. So I'm going to use this tonight instead of, this is kind of like a Dutch oven, isn't it? It's a soup pot. made by Silver Fire and I haven't used this yet so I'm excited to try it. I thought I'd go ahead and try that. So I've had it a couple of years and I've used the Silver Fire rocket stove but I haven't used the uh, Dragon Pot. 11 Dutch Ovens cookbook and then I also have this Outdoor Dutch Oven cookbook. So I kind of went through a few of the recipes and was looking for a main meal and I marked what I'm going to cook tonight. So I'm going to cook savory rice and red beans. Wow, that sun is bright. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for my knife. I know I had it at lunch. I cut the package of weenies open with my pocket knife and I've yet to find it. I don't know what's happened to my pocket knife. And I have had that thing for ever, probably 10 years. So it's a Kershaw and I really like that knife. So I've looked all over the camp. I just don't know what happened to it. Recipe calls for brown rice, bell pepper, onion, celery, dark kidney beans, chicken broth. It does not call for the turkey sausage, but I'm gonna throw that in there anyway. So, let's get chopping. right over this and if you see it has this chamber that goes up to the side of the internal pot so it'll heat up the sides of the pot so I'll put that on there a little olive oil start the onion <laughs> Add the sausage, put the lid on it, and let that cook for a while. Don't stir the rice. So one thing that's hard to regulate is the temperature because I keep feeding the wood and then it's that soup is just boiling and most of the time when you cook rice you want to boil the water and then simmer so I think I'm gonna not add any more wood and let it slow down a little bit because it's a it is a roaring boil right now so I'm gonna hang on a little bit and let it burn out some or let it simmer 
So this is probably halfway through. I just tasted the rice and it's still a little crunchy. So um, because of the boil, and I'm still not able to regulate it, um, I've been having to add some water, which is probably not good for rice, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna let it cook probably another 30, 45 minutes and just let it cook down some. The rice is still just a little bit crunchy. Not much, but just a little bit. So I'm gonna just probably just let this simmer for another 10 or 15 minutes, not adding any more wood to it. One thing it said in the book was, in the recipe book, was you could, you know, put it in a tortilla and eat it. So it's not supposed to be like stew. And it definitely isn't. So I'm just gonna put this in a bowl and see how that tastes. So that's the final product out of my silver fire. So let's see what it tastes like. It's got some kidney beans and some celery. Mmm. That's really good. And I didn't add any salt to this, and I don't think it needs it. It's good. Of course, I added these little turkey sausages. That's good. I'm gonna eat on this for a few days, that's for sure. They're very cheap and very frugal. Okay, one of these is for supper tomorrow night, and one is for the freezer and it's an empty pot success and it was really good the rice turned out good it was cooked and everything so really good recipe i like it so there's the sunset but i also wanted to show you what i found i found my pocket knife yay 